thank you, thank you. Hello and welcome to The Real Samir. This is the show where three Samirs from three different timelines compete to get inside the mind of the average Samir. Tonight, they are playing for a £2,000 cash prize and determine once and for all, who is the real Samir? As always, I am your host, Samir. And with me uh, this evening are our players, Samir, Samir, and of course, Samir. Now, in a second, our players will introduce themselves. But first, let me give a quick demonstration of how it's done. From now on, you can call me Host Samir. My pronouns are he, they, and I am an attractive 5'8 black person with short receding hair and glasses. I am wearing a well-tailored two-piece suit, which is formal, stylish, and slim fit. The uh, suit itself is the calming blue of a summer sky. It is worn over a cloud white shirt and an ocean blue tie. Uh, players, let us know who you are. Hiya. Thanks for having me, host Samir. Please refer to me as hot girl Samir, she, her. I am also very attractive, also 5'8", 5'11 in these heels. And yeah, I'm a black person, purple eyeshadow, purple nails, black lipstick, I'm wearing two gorgeous rings, <laughs> folks at home. I'm wearing a beautiful pearl and shell necklace that kind of dangles as I move. And yeah, I've got very cunty electric yellow hair in a bob cut, which matches my silky vintage summer dress uh, with cut out shoulders and it's just very loose. It's, it's giving body, it's giving gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Thank you very much. Wow, Hot Girl Samir, I love it. Thank you. Kind of a play on Hot Girl Summer. You know, we love the stallion in my universe. <laughs> I bet you do. Next player, please introduce yourself. Yes, I will. Um, hi everyone, uh, my name is Himbo Samir and I am the same height as everyone else. Uh, I'm also a black person. I'm also hot. Uh, I don't have glasses on. I don't have any makeup. But I do have a big, bushy, uh, short beard. <laughs> big short, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am wearing also uh, practical shorts with lots of pockets. And I'm wearing a cool cotton t-shirt which says Daddy Shark on it. Uh, and there's also a picture of a shark with sunglasses. Uh, I'm also wearing my light blue cotton baseball cap that's turned backwards like Ash Ketchum. Uh, uh, oh, and I'm also a he. That is indeed a cool shirt, Himbo Samir. Where did you get it? So I was on a date or maybe a platonic hangout, I'm <laughs> not sure. Um, but yeah, there was a craft market which had a t-shirt vending machine and the shirts were rolled up so you couldn't see the design. Um, but yeah, I put in 50p and I got this. Well, it suits you. And now, can our final player introduce themselves? I'm Hater Samir. I'm a grade A hater. I'm here to kill the vibe. Black on black, you know. I'm a black person wearing a heavy black leather jacket with a rip under the right armpit, a thick black tail neck, and loose-fitting black suit trousers. Are you wearing glasses? Black circular sunglasses. <laughs> very stylish, very Morpheus. Well, thank you, players. Now, before we get into round one, let me remind the folks at home how this works. We polled 500 Samirs from across the multiverse to see how they answered the upcoming questions. The player's aim is not to find the capital T truth, but rather how the average Samir answered each question. Let's begin. Hot girl Samir, you're up first. Tell me, why do you believe you are the real Samir? I don't believe, I know. Realness isn't something you measure with a ruler. It's something you feel. Beautifully put, hot girl Samir. And um, what will you be doing if you win that £2,000 cash prize? Honestly, I just need the money to get out of my overdraft. If there's any left, 
then maybe I'll take a train ride for a weekend trip in Scotland. Fantastic. Well, good luck to you. Your questions start now. On the periodic table, what element has the atomic number three? Lithium. Correct. In what country would you find Mount Kilimanjaro? Tanzania. True, but not correct. The average Samir said Kenya. <laughs> Aurelin is a shade of what colour? Uh, green? That is neither true nor correct. The average Samir said yellow, which is also the true answer. They knew that, but not Tanzania. Apparently. Next question. What is the hottest planet in our solar system? Earth, because I live here. <laughs> Correct. For those at home, the true answer is Venus. What European uh, country drinks the most coffee per capita? The People's Republic of Birmingham, because my brother alone massively inflates the data. Correct. The average Samir also made a joke about our brother's coffee habits. <laughs> For those at home, the true answer is Finland. Last question. In what year did then President Thomas Sankara rename the country of Burkina Faso? Oh, uh, I know this. Uh, 1984? Correct. Yes, the name Burkina Faso is derived from two indigenous languages to the region, Mossi and Dula, and can loosely be translated in English as land of the upstanding people. Speaking of upstanding people, hot girl Samir, you had some tough questions there, but you still came away with a very respectable four points. <laughs> Next up, Himbo Samir. <laughs> himbo, Himbo, Himbo. It's great to have you on the show. You too. Uh, I mean, thank you. Uh, yeah. Wonderful. And why do you believe that you are the real Samir? I'm not sure I do believe it. This whole multiple timelines thing kind of gave me a crisis of identity. And I came on here to find out for certain. Well, you came to the right place. And what would you do with the cash prize? I am also deep in my overdraft, Samir. Um, but to be honest, I'm more on here for existential reasons than financial reasons. Uh, well, best of luck. Your questions start now. In football, rugby, and other ball games, what is the name of the maneuver wherein the ball is transferred from a player to a member of their own team? Uh, pass. <laughs> Correct. Musical Youth had a number one hit in 1982 with the song, What the Duchy. Uh, pass. <laughs> Correct. The famous quote from the Lord of the Rings can character Gandalf is, you shall not... Pass. Correct. What is the name of a walkable route between a mountain range or a hill? Pass. Correct. What is the four-letter word me beginning with P that means to overtake? Pass. Correct. Last question. In computer security, what word can go before code, phrase, and word? Uh, pass. That is, that is true, but not correct. The average Samir said, oh yeah, I saw that episode of The Chase too. <laughs> Still, very impressive Himbo Samir. Five out of six is almost a perfect score. Hang on. All of his questions have the same answer. Well, technically, that last one didn't. Moving on, last but not least, we have Hater Samir. Hater. Host. Why do you believe that you are the real Samir? What gives you the authority to determine who's the real Samir? What does real even mean? What happens to those of us who are designated not real? Those are great questions. We don't have time to answer them, unfortunately. What would you do with the £2,000 cash prize? I'm in my fucking overdraft. Well, here's hoping you get out. Your questions start now. What American trans activist 
is quoted alongside Marsha P. Johnson as being pivotal in the 1969 Stonewall Uprising. Sylvia Rivera. True, but not correct. The average Samir said, pass. I should read a book. All right. What type of subatomic particle is an electron? Lepton. Correct. What is the rarest blood type amongst humans? AB negative. True, but not correct. The average Samir said O negative. In mathematics, what is the name of a number that is not a prime number and has more than two factors? Uh, can, you, can you repeat the question? Correct. <laughs> for those at home, the true answer is composite number. What is a term for a group of flamingos? Flamingang. <laughs> the average Samir said polycule. For those at home, the true answer is flamboyance. Final question. What are the four largest moons of Jupiter? Okay, so Ganymede, Io, Europa, and uh, Callisto? True, but not correct. The average Samir could not remember Callisto. Unfortunately, hater Samir, that only leaves you with two points, putting you in last place. Let's take a walk down memory lane. The next round is a series of questions about our shared Samir personal memories. For all our players tonight, their timelines diverged in December of 2019. So we will only be asking about memories from before then. There will be six questions in total, and we will be awarding one point for each correct answer, with bonus points if you can remember extra details. Players, Buzz in when you think you have the answer. Let's begin. In July of 2004, what non-human animal saliva got on the window of our family car? <laughs> Himbo Samir? A fly. Definitely true, but not the answer we're looking for. Think bigger. Himbo again? A butterfly. That is bigger. It's still not correct. Hot girl Samir? Is it a giraffe? Correct. A giraffe licked the car window on a trip to Westmillan Safari Park. <laughs> that is one point to you, hot girl Samir, bringing you up to five. Our next question is, in 2008, when we did our first playthrough of Pokemon Diamond, what was, and still is, our favorite Pokemon? <laughs> Himbo Samir? Uh, Crobat. Correct. For a bonus point, what is Crobat's final base speed stat? Uh, uh, 130. Correct. Crobat is indeed a speedy king. Oh yeah, obviously. He's a big purple bat with four wings. <laughs> he sure is. That's two points to you, bringing you to your total to seven. Next question. Who was our first cartoon character that we had a crush on? Himbo Samir? Crobat. No, the Samirs we polled definitely did not admit to that. Am I wrong? That's not the answer we're looking for. Hot girl Samir? Aqualad from Young Justice. Absolute hunk. You are correct. That is one more point to you. For a bonus point, what is Aqualad's full government name? Calderarm because I remember saying, more like Calder arms. I see you flexing those biceps. You are correct. Calder was a queer awakening for over 400 Samirs. <laughs> How many of them like Crobat? <laughs> <clears throat> that is another point to you, hot girl Samir, bringing your total to seven points. It's neck and neck between you two. Hey to Samir, you better catch up. I will. <laughs> Okay, next question. <laughs> what is the name of our imaginary friend from the ages of 5 to 13? <laughs> Hater Samir? Sport Hedgehog. That is correct. For a bonus point, what animal was Sport Hedgehog? It was a hedgehog, Samir. <laughs> You'd think. And you would be correct again. <laughs> Two points to you, bringing you up to four. Our penultimate question of the round 
What is the sign of our north node? You all seem rather stunned at the question. Hey, to Samir. This is a trick question. If our timelines diverged in 2019, then we hadn't gotten into the astrology by then. <laughs> I still don't fully get it, to be honest. Whilst that is an accurate statement, Hey, to Samir, on a technicality, the event of our birth was before 2019, so this is fair game. Not even a guess? Himbo Samir? Scorpion. I think you mean Scorpio. And no, fun fact, there are no water signs anywhere in our birth chart. So, we're just doing great emotionally. <laughs> Give us a guess, hot girl. Libra. That is correct, brilliant work. You are now on eight points. Yes, around 150 Samirs answered Libra. Most guessed that because it is the same as our sun sign, but it turns out to also be true. Indeed, the north node in Libra represents a destiny that you are growing into. A north node in Libra means that our destiny is to deepen our connections with others by collaborating instead of trying to do everything ourselves. You mean like not playing all four characters in a performance? <laughs> That is a bit too meta, Hater Samir. Keep it real. Now, our final question of the round. What is our greatest insecurity? Hater Samir? We have a lot of insecurities around being a good person. Our friends tell us that we're kind and wise and thoughtful. And yeah, on the surface, that might be true. But how much of that is just an attempt to cover over a deeper selfishness? I mean, there's multiple genocides occurring. And we're not rioting in the street, actually disrupting the status quo, because we're scared. We're carrying on with our normal, comfortable lives. And yeah, we may all be broke, but our debt gives us greater access to resources than someone with literally nothing. How often do we say no to a rough sleeper and then go buy something we don't need? Should we not give everything? Do everything we can? Like, in most realities, we're artists of some sort and our work speaks to social issues, sure, but if we actually cared more, wouldn't we be doing more? Does art making actually further the cause or is it just a vanity project? Our art in particular feels too safe a lot of the time. We talk about vulnerability, but we're not truly vulnerable with ourselves. So how could we ever be vulnerable enough in our art for it to have the transformative power that we claim it does. Is any of this real? That is not even close to the correct answer. <laughs> Himbo Samir? Is it our receding hairline? Correct. correct! That is another point to you, Himbo, bringing you to eight as well. This is bullshit. I can't be the only one who sees it. I mean, you two are just playing into this game. Giving him the power to decide which one of us is real? And for what? Two grand and a meaningless title? That's worth competing against ourselves? Denying the other versions of ourselves their humanity? This isn't you, Samir. The real Samir doesn't get angry. The real Samir is a fucking human. You're angry too. You just have had more time to hide it. The fact that you're there in person and we're pre-recorded doesn't make you any more real than us. Maybe not, but I'll be still be here when the performance ends and you won't be. 
There is no you without me. Well, would you look at that? The score so far, I hate to submit in last place with four points. Then in joint first place are Himbo Samir and Hot Girl Samir with eight points. There is still all to play for. Tune in after the break to find out who is the real Samir. Yeah.